Rolling fields were always interesting. They were really well engineered, beautifully styled, simple, fun, motorcycling. And there's just something about the new ones where inspiration has been taken. More than anything though, they're just wonderful motorcycles to ride. Cafe racer scene came about in the early 1960s. Motorcyclists meeting at transport cafes would strip down their bikes and race with their mates. They were originally built by people that couldn't afford to go and buy a works race bike and wanted to build something out of parts to create a bike that gave them the performance and the excitement and the thrill that they wanted. Then production cafe racers came along with the Royal Enfield Continental GT. The original Continental GT250 was the bike that people back in the 60s, especially youngsters, really, really hankered after. It was the number one youngsters motorcycle of its day. And when we did the 535, we created a great handling little motorcycle that I think captured a lot of the essence of what the, the 250 had. Royal Enfield wanted to make sure that the GT535 was authentic to the history of jeans they'd made in the past. It had the look and the riding position and the feel of single cylinder air-cooled engine, but it was always envisioned that it was a motorcycle that people could customize, could make their own. And that's still very much the case with the 650 Twin GT. We looked at GT and, and what made that cool, bit about those products that people really loved. I think that was, that was instantly fun. We didn't want to do something that was intimidating or overbearing. It wanted to be something that just naturally felt good to get on a ride. And so this product, we've taken the great bits from the 535, we've added in this fantastic new engine and evolved the whole thing. You know, this is a completely brand new product, a complete step change. For us it was really important that this had a grounding in our past, it had an element of history in it, but also something that is a modern motorcycle that was right for today. This third generation takes it to a completely different level. The engine is really smooth, but it's got a lot of torque still. It hasn't lost that. The acceleration isn't linear. You've got to off with it. The handling is superb. The rider experience was, was very much at the core of what we were trying to achieve. You know, we really wanted to create a bike that, that gave a real involvement and engagement to the consumer. It changes direction beautifully, it's very agile, very nimble, feels very um, responsive to your inputs and that makes it confidence inspiring for the, for the less experienced rider but also really rewarding for the, the, uh, the more experienced rider. But the basics are all there. It's a great motorcycle to ride, but it's something that you can further make your own. Trying to capture that simple joy that you get from being on a good bike on a great road, really enjoying the moment and living in the moment. That's what these bikes are all about. <laughs>